Hey everyone, it's Passionate for Christ again. Um, I am back today with another video from my friend Adrian Sawald's um, posting that he makes on Facebook. And I will put the link in the description box. And um, we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to try to keep this video shorter. So here we go. Um, soul ties are emotional bonds that form an attachment via demons and your soul. These ties may be godly or ungodly, pure or demonic. Most people use the term soul tie to refer to connections linking people. Soul ties are not necessarily of sexual or romantic origin, but there is also a godly soul tie to which all Holy Spirit filled children of God have, and that makes them tied to God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. But ungodly soul ties open you up for all sorts of demonic torment, oppression, and persecution, and maybe even possession, and ultimately, hell. Soul ties can bind you and bring you down and destroy you, and they need to be broken and removed in Jesus' name, in the power of the Holy Spirit. As nearly always, demons and ungodly spirits are involved in these bondages. Have you ever wondered why you can't just free yourself of something or someone? no matter how hard you try or how hard you pray, maybe you're not praying for the right thing and against the right things and the cause still remains. You perhaps pray to God to sort these things out, but still nothing happens. Yes, God can do these things, but most often he expects you to sort it out and deal with it. He gave you the power and the authority to destroy these things and expects you to use what he has given you, all his glory, his Holy Spirit, not just to pray and wait and hope that God will act on it. Maybe someday, hopefully. Um, when two people become soul tied um, or they become one, just as Jesus said, two become one flesh, not only in marriage, but any relationship or friendship. Just because you separate, divorce, or break up, it does not break that soul tie. And you join in their past, present, and future sins. Their, their sins become yours, and yours becomes theirs. And so at judgment, you have their sins also, not just your sins. Now think on that price to pay. All you have, um, all you have bonded with in various ways, and many of you still are. So don't be shocked when you are full of many sins at judgment time and weighed and judged accordingly. Our father is a good judge. He will judge us accordingly and it will be righteous judgment. From this moment on, you can't say you never knew as an excuse because I am telling you right now. Soul ties can come from sexual, sexual relations in any form, uh, becoming one flesh as the Bible explains. Therefore, soul tied, even kissing, oral sex, cuddling, or anywhere there is any bonding. Um, strong friendships um, can make strong soul ties. Um, objects given connected to these two things in any way can bind you to these people. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you have to remove them also if need be. <coughs> this is why I always tell people, to make sure that they watch the things they bring into their homes because you never know what kind of demonic spirit is attached to these things. I mean, seriously. Um, vows or promises made is another example. Um, some examples of this is I promise to never leave you. I love you forever, etc. Or commitments. I commit my life to you. My heart belongs to you, etc. Um, it's also uh, soul ties can also come from music. Have you ever wondered why um, you love a song or a group or a singer so much that you just can't stop listening and you know it's wrong, right? Um, demons are tying you to these through the music. So beware because nowadays it has even infiltrated into the Christian music as well. So you have to just be very careful about what you're listening to at all times. Um, another example of soul tie can come from famous peoples or celebrities um, you just can't stop following them. It's like an addiction. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. 
Um, another is objects, lingerie given in relation to a sexual relationship, uh, DVDs, CDs, uh, rings, jewelry, etc. if need be. Um, another example of a, where a soul tie can come from is the internet um, through porn or something similar or any ungodly thing. Um, you can't stop watching or worse. Um, also it comes from TV. You can't stop watching your programs. You got to be at home by any means to watch it. Um, demons are in these and bind you through this tie. Um, also curses, word curses, witchcraft, voodoo and spells um, demons, ungodly spirits. Our words have a lot more power than what you think they do. Um, we can word, we can word curse ourselves or others without even knowing that's what we did. Then, of course, there is so much uh, witchcraft, uh, curses and voodoo and spells happening all over and all around you. So we have to protect ourselves from these things and always let the Holy Spirit guide us. Um, another example is Satanists, horoscopes, for fortune telling, um, and their curses, prayers, witchcraft, spells. Um, also, family, relatives, you can have um, flesh and blood ties, and people in general. Also, it's not uncommon for individuals to form attachments with uh, counselors, physicians, co-workers, teachers, or even celebrities. <coughs> <coughs> even celebrities that they've never met. Um, another example is false preachers, uh, Christians, etc. Prayed upon you, laid hands on you, and you have unknowingly received ungodly uh, soul ties and demons to the false religion, church, or pastor, etc. Um, other false or soul tied demon filled Christians praying for you and laying hands on you. I mean, you have to be careful about that because you don't know um, what these people have been through and what kind of demons they are dealing with. So ladies, ev for every man that you have had sex with, uh, deposits and leaves a part of his soul in you. So how many t soul ties are you walking around with? Um, Isaiah ten twenty seven says, It shall pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off your shoulder and his yoke off your neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because Remove all things associated with these things. Um, in not doing so, it gives the demons associated with these things legal rights to keep you in bondage and tied. And no amount of praying will work. Um, when you don't remove part of the reasons you are tied and bound and keep using or returning to, wearing, watching, listening to, etc. And, I mean, Jesus is not fooled. He knows if you really mean what you are praying or not. And who is serious or not, and uh, so do the demons involved, if there's any demons involved. So here's just a few um, of the many symptoms you may experience in a relationship that you've had. Number one, it says you are in a physically, emotionally, or spiritually abusive relationship, but you feel so attached to them that you refuse to cut off the connection and set boundaries with them. Number two says you have left a relationship maybe a long time ago, but you think about the person obsessively. You can't get them out of your mind. Whenever you do anything, make a decision, have a conversation with someone, etc. You feel like this person is with you or watching you. Number four, when you have sex with someone else, hopefully your husband or wife, you can hardly keep yourself from visualizing the person you have a soul tie with. Number five, you take on the negative traits of the person that your soul is tied to and carry their offenses, whether or not you actually agree with them. Number six, you defend your right to stay in a relationship with the person that your soul is tied to. Even though it is negatively affecting or even destroying the important relationships in your life, such as your kids, your husband, wife, uh, leaders, etc. Uh, number seven, you have simultaneous experiences and or moods as the person your soul is tied to. This can even include sickness, accidents, addictions, etc. 1 Corinthians 6.15 says, Do you not know that the one who joins himself to a prostitute is the one body with her? For he says the two shall become one flesh. And this is with anyone actually. So we need to repent of all sins. Sins will also keep you tied to these things, especially... Um, the sins associated with these things and make sure 
that you have actually asked with your own mouth for Jesus to give you his Holy Spirit. As he said, no man can give him to you or pray for you to receive him. For it is also he that will assist you in all things. Pray without or without him things are impossible and you have no power. So without the Holy Spirit in you, you do not have that power from him. If you have not asked him in, then you best, you best do it. You're powerless. Otherwise, if you're unsure, um, please email me. I will post my email in the description box below. So we need to pray verbally and command. Uh, you have to tell these things, not ask politely for these things to leave. And you do this as often as you have, as it's needed. Um, if you feel you're not yet free, um, you can email me if you're unsure. If you cannot remember names, etc., it's okay. God knows what you need even before you ask it. I will post a prayer in the description box as well. So if you don't know how to break these soul ties, then here's a prayer in here that will help you. And all kinds of uh, soul ties you have made over the years and maybe not even knowing it. Um, but if you are ready to break these ties that bind you, this is a, go a good starting point. I'm, uh, I'm not going to read it, but I recommend you go and read it and use it if you need it, um, which I think we all do. Now, I also have some scriptures that I'm going to post in the description box that goes along with this. And um, so I encourage you to go down and look. Um, so also don't confuse removing uh, soul ties with removing or casting off or rebuking demons and spirits for other reasons or causes. It's not the same thing. Um, these are just a few. So please, if you have any questions about anything mentioned here, please reach out to me. And if I can't help you, then Adrian will surely be able to help you. Um, we will be glad to help you and also pray for you. Um, so please just reach out if you need to. Um, we're here to help. Um, sometimes some soul ties are harder to break than others. It can definitely be a process. So I want to encourage you to just don't be discouraged if it doesn't leave the first time. Some circumstances are different and the prayer I am listing here may not work. And there may need to also be fasting along with it. So be encouraged and um, just know that we're here to help, okay? Um, I love this scripture right here. Uh, keep yourself pure. 1 Timothy 5, 22. Do not lay hands on anyone hastily, nor share in other people's sins. So keep yourself pure. Um, <clears throat> beware of who you let um, <laughs> lay hands on you um, to pray for you because it can transfer demons and you can share in their sins. It's like a soul tie. So yes, at judgment, uh, their sins can be added to yours if you don't repent from it. Um, does that not give you a sudden reality check to be, <laughs> to be aware of these things? Because God is really not joking. I mean, this is not a joking matter. Um, but please note that the laying on hands is biblical. Just know that if the person is truly filled with the Holy Spirit and not a demonic counterfeit, uh, you must be careful. That's all I'm saying. Also, many are confusing love with ungodly soul ties. The root may look similar, but the fruit is totally different. Okay, so this last little clip that's showing, um, it's not showing how I wanted it to, but it says, no, I will not, I will never apologize for offending you with what the Bible says. And I used to apologize all the time. Um, if I would offend someone from, you know, biblical stuff, but I am no longer going to do that. I am, I am done apologizing because this is a serious business. You know, this work I'm doing for one reason and one reason only, and that's for God's kingdom. So I love you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will be, um, doing more of these actually, and probably, Probably every day I will be doing another one. Um, it just, it's just whatever the Holy Spirit leads. So, so I mean, I've had a really hard time getting this video done because I keep having to stop because I keep coughing. So, um, the devil really didn't want me to get this message out, but it's too bad because it's happening anyway. So anyway, I love you guys and God bless.